Hello there, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Donksterborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today, Chessington World of Adventures have revealed uh, that they're going to be doing open planning uh, in May, an open public consultation at the end of May, for the plans of their next major roller coaster addition to the park. For the first time in 17 years, Chessington's going to get a new coaster. Uh, now, we do have the official uh, screenshot and image which we'll share with you. We're going to share with you the site of where this is going to be located and share with you some possibilities that I think it could be. Now before we get started with all of that, please like, comment, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,500 subs. We're on the road to 4,000 subs by the end of the year, so let's get that sorted. Go in the description down below, check out the social media links, get your video ideas in through Google Forms and do all that good stuff. And for now, guys, let's have a look at what Chessington have said on their rawsome news for the future. So it is officially stated, raw some news, excited plans for new roller coaster and children's rides at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Online public consultation event, hear our plans and share your views. In April 2016 we presented our material master plan for a range of exciting new attractions at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Now some materials then. <laughs> uh, a key element of the master plan was to provide a new roller coaster and other children's rides at the picnic field site on the southern part of the resort. Please see area highlighted on the opposite page, which is of course on your screen with the first page. Our master plan received a high level of support from those that attended the public exhibition host at Chessington and provided comments. This master plan has formed the basis for several planning applications and developments that have since been delivered at the resort over recent years. The COVID-19 pandemic has meant that Chessington, as with other leisure attractions, has had a very challenging year and our operations have been significantly impacted. There is a steep hill to climb on our road to recovery and Millen Entertainment, owner of Chessington, is committed to continuing the invest in the resort to realise a master plan and deliver a new roller coaster, the first at Chessington for 17 years since Dragon's Fury opened in 2004. This investment is critical to the resort's recovery to ensure it continues to attract guests and it can maintain its role as a major employer in the borough. This is a very exciting opportunity and we'd like to share our emerging plans to, with you and your in, invite your views. Uh, we will in hosting two virtual presentation events on the website on Tuesday, May the 18th, 2021 at 1pm and 7.30pm to explain our emerging plans. Members of the team will be able to receive your comments via a live chat and answer any questions. We are also hoping to hold, government guidance permitting, a number of face-to-face -face presentations in line with COVID-19 social distancing guidelines in our Safari Hotel Serengeti Conference Suite at various times throughout Monday, May 17, 2021. These live events will mark the beginning of a two-week public consultation and if you can't make it to any of the events, the virtual presentation will also be available on our website for you to access information about our emerging proposals during this time. Along with an online survey for you to complete and share your views, alternatively, you can also email comments direct to us and all comments are welcomed by May 31st, 2021. We look forward to sharing our exciting plans with you and receiving your feedback. Full details and timings of all our planned events and additional information can be found at the Chessington website. It's very, very exciting indeed, ladies and gentlemen, and let's share with you now the site in question. So as you can see on your screen right now, fan dabby dozy, it is the site in question at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. And as you can see, the picnic field, or in, comma, in commas, the picnic field, uh, is, is just another name uh, for what was the, it was like, there was like a bouncy area. I've done it on Google Maps, so you can get a good idea of what the site looks like, but uh, basically, yeah, this is the, uh, there was like a bouncy sort of area, uh, a temporary bouncy area one season, I think a season or two ago now, um, in this particular site. However, this is the site uh, of this this brand new uh, roller coaster and the children's rides that's going to surround it. Uh, I was trying to look for some more information from the fans' point of view, from the enthusiast's point of view, uh, via like forums and news sources, etc. Uh, and I did have a look when it was first revealed um, on on one of the forums, on the Coaster Force forum. 
Um, obviously, little's currently known, but they did sort of say that it's going on the picnic field along with some children's rides. So the children's ride's set to be uh, the sort of supporting act to the main course, which is the main roller coaster. Now, it's been indicated to draw upon Chessington's master plan from 2016. So, what is basically going to be happening is, in my opinion, and I'll talk more about this in more detail afterwards, I think it's going to be between the two coasters that we were expecting back at their master plan back in 2016, and that is either an Intamin family launch coaster, so the list of the, the jungle ride, so uh, we had the, the ATV style ride, kind of like Yukon Quad um, at La Paul, uh, or uh, the what the pirate ride, which is a water coaster. It could be Mac, could be Intamin, could be anyone, uh, but a water coaster known as the pirate ride. So with this being near um, Dragon's Fury, or this being opposite, on opposite Dragon's Fury uh, on that picnic field area, I'm just I'm sort of having a look at the site right now just to see like um, any nearby attractions and you know what it could conjure up in terms of you know themed areas um i mean this is right near to where the blue barnacle is and obviously canopy capers and dragon's furies opposite and tiny truckers and the sea storms nearby and you know things like that so i've got a feeling this will be sort of an extension to maybe land of the dragons or maybe the entrance to the coaster um will go around where blue barnacle is or near where blue barnacle is uh, and it could be part of the pirate themed area that could be the plan so it could go either way really if it is uh, potentially the jungle ride if it is the family launch coaster i do expect to pros potentially see uh, the land of the dragons area maybe re-themed because i think that would be the the way forward or they may go with a completely different theme in general they may go with like a dragon theme to go with the land of the dragons or they go with a pirate theme or they go with like a wild asia theme if it's going to be entered near wild asia in terms of entrances and queue lines so it's very very interesting but now it's time to share my thoughts on both potential additions so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at Chessington's brand new roller coaster. Uh, the planning stages, the very early planning stages. Oh, I can't wait. You can see how giddy I am. Uh, but no, this is going to be a wonderful addition, guys. A wonderful addition to the park. Um, this is going to be an amazing attraction. I mean, having the children's ride support it as well. Maybe, and this is something I just thought about uh, in between clips. Maybe... This could be its own area. Maybe we're not looking at uh, an extension to Land of the Dragons or Wild Asia or the Pirate Area or uh, it, you know it's even it's even behind it's technically behind Vampire in a way. So, or, or, sorry, it's behind the Gruffalo technically. So um, it, you know it could even be counted as Wild Woods. I don't think we're looking at that. I think with the Children's Drive supporting the new coaster, I think we're looking here at a uh, a new area by itself. So again with the jungle theme. So, I think we're looking here at a completely new jungle area to, to suit the coaster. Um, and it's going to be like walking through... And I, I'm guessing in terms of layout, I'm, I mean, this is just my prediction here very early on. But in terms of layout, I'm thinking the coaster will be sort of an out and back, uh, low to the ground and upper level type layout. Uh, either way. And I think the children's ride supporting it will be dotted around the area as well. It's quite a, you know, you've got to, you've got to you know, remember it's a big area here. Because um, you've got, because obviously currently in the picnic, in, in the picnic field area, uh, you've got the old sort of bouncy area that was there for a year. Um, you look at what Thought Park did with Bouncy, it was something similar to that for Chessington. Um, you had like uh, there was like a temporary area next to it as well, so it's, it's 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 quite a big area, but there was a lot of temporary things going on. So we knew this is going to be a massive area for development in the future, and now we finally get the first go ahead, should we say? Um, and it's great that Millen Entertainment are going ahead with this. It's great to see Chessington seems to be the focus for the next major roller coaster. It seems like they are the next park in the UK from the Merlin train in line for their next coaster. I mean. I mean, things can happen. Things can happen. I mean, I'm predicting this to probably be a 2024 or 2025 edition. If there was going to be a brand new coaster in the UK before then for the Merlin chain, I'd expect it to be either Thought Park's next one or Secret Weapon 9, sort of around 2023. And then 2024 or 2025, the focus would be for Chessington. So, I mean, it's very, very interesting to see what's going to happen with this. Uh, I'm personally very, very excited for it. I hope you guys are really excited as well. 
And, you know, that's just sort of my predictions. I'm thinking like an out and bat, low to the ground or upper level layout with the children's rides dotted around between 2024 and 2025 opening and uh, the jungle theme or the pirate theme, whether it is the launch coaster or the water coaster. But I think that either would be wonderful additions because Intamin and, Intamin and Gerslau do wonderful. I mean, Gerslau maybe not sometimes, but Intamin definitely do great family launch coasters. You look at 13 as one way, the ATV sort of system, which is what the original 2016 master plan image was uh, you know the Yukon quad at Lapal type uh, coaster um, go and look it up if you haven't seen that but you know what I mean at Juvelen at the Joe Summerland that's another big example uh, of an Intamin family launch coaster in the ATV style seating so I think that would be really cool in terms of the water coaster You're looking at Matt Rides being a big contender for the manufacturer of this ride uh, it depends what other projects are going on with the manufacturers because again with the launch coaster Intamin might have a lot of projects going on around 2024 2025 that we don't know about so yet so um, we, we, I mean Intamin may probably I think it, if it is going to be a launch coaster, looking at the graphic of the ATVs and the, the Juvelin Yukon quad style seating, it's very likely to be uh, an Intamin. Uh, but I think with the water coaster, it depends on what Max doing, depends on what you know Intamin's doing because they do the big water coasters as well. Uh, so Intamin or Mac for me for the water coaster, and then for the launch coaster, we're probably looking at Intamin by itself. Uh, but either way, very very exciting. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with those. So. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update. Very, very detailed news update today. Stay tuned for more. And for now, guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.